Welcome in all my friends, Lazy Retired Granny here. It's still Friday, June 23rd, 2023, and it's about 10 minutes to 11 a.m. here in sunny Salem, Oregon. And I'm continuing my journey on the Golden Valley by Chuck Penson. I just came in from outside and I got all my housework done. I got the lawn mowed and watered. I did the weed whacking out front by the field and the little driveway. And I put fresh water, sugar water, in for the hummingbirds. And, yeah, and while I was just um, getting done with the weed whacking, my son was outside and he goes, there's something wrong with Ellie. I said, what? And he, he said, she acts like she's gagging or something. And my first thought was, oh, did she eat a bee? That's not good news. Because then we'd have to rush to the ER <laughs> with my sweaty body. <laughs> oh, it's not a pleasant sight. <laughs> And so I watched her, and she was just kind of this <coughs> type of thing. And, like, she had something stuck in her throat. And my son was just about ready to fill the pool for the boys. And he had the hose on. And I said, call her, and if she comes over, then she will get some water and maybe that'll clear out what's ever in her throat and uh, so he called her and showed her the hose and she went walking over there not real fast and I thought oh this is not good and then he took the po hose and she started her little games that she does with the hose you saw the video if you watched it before this one and then she got in the pool which she'll only get in the pool if the hose is on otherwise she stays clear of it and so then she played out in the water for about 20 minutes with David he was He's work, he works from home, and their system went down again today. It went down yesterday also. And so he came outside and was going to get the pool filled. And um, so Ellie stayed out there with him and was playing in the pool and she and then the pool was full and she stayed in the pool I was kind of shocked I went over there and was kind of playing around with her and yeah she just stayed in the pool I was shocked and yeah then she got out and we kind of messed around outside while she got dried off in the sun. Yeah, so then we just came in. Gave the... The, um... Ugh, why can't I think of it? Ah, it just... 
popped right out of my brain. The hummingbirds. Um, I cleaned out their feeder and got them fresh sugar water. And yes, yeah, so I thought, well, I'm just going to cool down before I get in the shower. I thought, well, I'll just pop on here and do a quick video while I'm cooling it down. Yeah, it was getting a little warm. Even though it's, you know, like 80, um, when you're working out there, yeah, it feels like 100. The sun beating down. and We had a little bit of a breeze now and then which felt good and I had the sprinkler going so I'd run through the sprinkler real quick <laughs> to cool myself off so I'm, I'm a little damp Okay, any more Y's hanging around? There's a six. Okay, I got six is 33. And I got one line. Rest, I think, are K's. This section is just so easy compared to the confetti heavy that I've been doing. I watched Mike from uh, Diamond Painting with Mike, or Diamond Painting Mike. I can't remember what it is. Um, he's trying to be an instigator with me. He thinks I need to get some more diamond paintings. <laughs> he's so funny. He says he has made videos for next year. He does them in advance. I don't know what kind of videos they are, but wow. I don't know if they're unboxings or... Or what he's doing. He's got quite the schedule. He's pretty serious about his YouTube channel and doing all this stuff. Not me. Whatever fits my fancy for the day. I think I ran out of wax. I 
think I might be just about ready for a new tip. I really put these tips through the ringer. This section will go fast with being more of the same color. Becky, you were saying that this um, larger straightener you use for around the edges. I was going to try that. Oh yeah, that is a lot better than using the little one. And the little one for in there. Now that makes sense to me. Thanks for that suggestion. Oh, and Becky, I'm going to mail that on Sunday, just so you know. That's the next time I'll be out and about, so. Get it popped in the mail. So I got a email from Little Caesars that with a three dollar off coupon. Pizza sounds good, especially because I'm lazy now today. Ugh. Too much work for me today. See, what else can I talk about? I didn't get a lot of reading done last night. But the part that I did read just kind of disturbed me. How things have changed. Um... Since the 1700s. I don't think I would have been a good person to live then. Very uh, how do I put it? Just how they treat people. It's the same with the that movie that I'm watching, 1923. Man, it has some disturbing parts in it, how people were treated,
<clears throat> Even today, I mean, um, when I was growing up, Yeah, you do something wrong, and Dad brought out the belt. At least my dad did. And yeah. And it wasn't just taps. Um, You know, where it leaves marks on you. People don't do that today. But on the other hand, that's how kids were back then, you know, if Teachers took a switch to you, and parents did too. Today, there's really not any, if the kids act up, there's no consequences. And I'm not saying you should beat your kids, um, but I think there's choices and there's consequences. And but Yes, today, if your child doesn't obey, take their phone away from them. Ah, that'd be the end of the world. Hey, Ellie. Are you ready for your lunch, girl? Is that what you're telling me? There you go, Mary. What am I doing? Uh, there we go. Huh? You ready for your lunch? A little early. Oh, you smell like wet dog. <laughs> you smell like wet dog, girl. I didn't towel her off because it's so warm and I thought ah oh, maybe she'd enjoy kind of cooling off I hope she's gonna lay down here beside me. Yeah, she's doing really good going back onto her dry food. She gets her wet food in the morning and at lunch or um, yeah, and then at lunchtime I give her the kibble and then at dinner she gets her dry her wet food. I got it. She's got to get through that because it's only good for seven days after you open it. And it's a big loaf. It's like, I don't know, five or six pounds. Oh, who's out there? Oh, I'm moving slow, girl. Oh, it's the Amazon delivery person. I don't think they left anything for me. I don't think 
Well, I do have an Amazon order, but it's not going to be here for a while. Yeah, if you order something from Amazon and it's from one of their sponsor, it takes forever to get to you. Because apparently it is delivered from that company, but you're still getting the free shipping. remember what that other painting was that was on Amazon that I was looking at through Diamond Art Club with the free shipping because it's through Amazon Prime. Yeah, I like that barn one, or that barn, the uh, the um, red bridge, red covered bridge. We have a few of those here. I haven't been to see them, but maybe I should. That would give me inspiration. I think there's some that are around here near me yeah there's one that just came back in stock which um, through Diamond Art Club, which I would like, but I don't want to pay shipping. Um. I'm cheap, I tell you, I'm cheap. Occasionally, I will pay shipping if I really want something and I can't find it anywhere else. Just about done with the case. Yay for me. Okay, finish the case. Now, let's take a look at this other part. Ooh, that's another easy part. Not a lot of confetti. So 
that should go pretty fast. I don't look at my next section until I'm ready to paint it. So I never know what I'm up against. All right, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna get this uploaded and go take my shower. So y'all have a good Friday, a nice weekend. And I will chat with you later. Thanks for stopping by.